To God be the glory. Amen. A teachable moment. I want to give you some valuable information about the true brilliance of individuals, many of whom were illiterate. You see, when your, oppressor, when your oppressor's main objective is to always keep you oppressed, you have to learn to be your own liberator and liberation. When your oppressor's main objective is to always keep you down, you have to learn how to pick yourself up. When your oppressor's main objective is to always tell you why you can't, you have to learn how to tell yourself why you can't. And sometimes you have to bless yourself right in front of your oppressor without your oppressor knowing that you're blessing yourself. Our people were brilliant even with no formal education. How brilliant were they? They were so brilliant they could, that they could talk in code in front of Master, and Master never knew what they were talking about. How brilliant, they were so brilliant that they could make plans to leave Master in front of Master, and Master thought they were happy being in his house. Yes, sir. How did they do that? They had something called code language, yeah. where they would say, in the midst of one another and give each other cues and information in such a way that only they could understand. Mm -hmm. See, Master would take them to church on Sunday morning and he would put them in one of his old suits. Mm -hmm. Or the mistress would put the, the slave ladies in one of her old dresses and, and they would cascade them around at church looking good so that they could impress, so they could impress the other slave owners. Yes, right. And the slaves would have to sit together in master's church and listen to master's preacher say, slave, be obedient to your master. Oh, right. oh, 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 oh. To treat them with love and respect because this is the will of God concerning you. Mm -hmm. They would have to get master's attention and approval to get up and go to the restroom so they would lift their feet. Mm -hmm. To get master's attention and once they got master's attention, master would say, go ahead, you can go to the restroom. That's why I tell you, Calvary, when you got to go to the restroom, just get up and go. You don't need anybody's permission. Look 
because they knew with no formal education that sound goes up and the sound goes out. And it would defeat the purpose of it being called the hush hall if we got too loud. Yeah, right. yeah. So what we would do is we would get in a circle and the, the, the slave preacher would tell you that Jesus is on the way. Yes, sir. Yeah. And that you'll understand it better by and by. And over yonder there was a house, a mansion with your name on it. And when I see Jesus, amen. When I see the one that died for me, amen. When I see the one that set me free, and it will get good to them just like it's getting good to you. But what they have to do, they have to pray with their face down. Because they knew even if you gave God praise with your face up or your face down, he'd hear you with your praise. speaking cold yeah. right in front yeah. Sister Haywood of the mess yeah. 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 they would say something one of the old slaves would bellow out wait in the water Tonight, yeah. we gonna meet down at the wall. 